found out yesterday that I was the side chick. And I never had to be the girl on the other side. So I wanna share the story and how it happened. So this guy that I've been talking to for quite a few months, um, everything was going good, you know, like we have spent hours upon hours, you know, talking to each other. We spent um, a long three day weekend together. There was never any red flags. Like, you know, even the three days that we were together, there was like no secret phone calls, like him walking outside or to his car or whatever. He wasn't even like on his phone, like crazy or anything like that. Um, you know, real sweet, seemed just like a genuine guy. And then it was like yesterday, God came down and tapped me on the shoulder and just clearly put something right in front of my face. I don't believe you. So on Facebook, it was a friend of a friend that tagged some pictures and I'm like, mm, these pictures are from just a few weeks ago and there was this girl like hugged up on him. So of course I called him first. He didn't answer because he was sleeping. I get it, he works nights, it's fine. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna message this girl. Just something like in my gut told me to do it. Message her, long story short, they've been together since 2022. But how do you know that's true? How do you know that that other woman is just not jealous, just like you? You could do better. How do you know that he's committed to this person? You don't. And you're trying to act like you're trying to save this woman and, and all this type of stuff. No, that's not the truth. You definitely went digging for information. It doesn't even sound like you've been with this guy for that long. You know, you go keep looking for things, you're gonna find them eventually, and you're gonna make up things in your mind and in your head. And how do you know she's not doing the same thing? So I had to be that girl to be like, listen, this man has said some very deep things. He's even done a ton of research on trying to move here, like in this area, like trying to transfer his job. He's talked marriage, he's talked babies, he's, you know, met my friend. Like, it's been very deep. He's been asking like, what am I gonna meet your mom? Your like, it's it was a lot. And then I sent her, you know, all the pictures of us together, videos, like everything that I had. Stop it. Get some help. Um, I feel so bad for her because I've been in her position before with my ex-husband, but it's like I never had to be in this position, you know? So, yeah, I say all this to say, y'all, if you're with somebody, just be faithful. And if you don't want to be with a person, just leave. And this is mainly to anybody, but especially women, like if you find out that the guy you're talking to is married or have a girlfriend, whatever, you need to go and tell her and you need to bring all the receipts and you need to leave the guy alone. Because if you think that he is going to leave that person for you, okay. And even if he does, do you really think he's going to be faithful to you? Like a cheater is a cheater. So that's my story for the day. Happy Valentine's. Oh, and it's Valentine's Day, so she is definitely uh, a little bit of butt hurt right now about the whole situation. But, you know, she might have just shot herself in the foot because it doesn't seem like they was in a committed relationship uh, to begin with. So maybe he was just seeing someone else. Let's not act like women don't do this all the time. Let's not act like women don't have that uh, uh, OG black book that's now in your phone. <laughs> Keep it real. With all these numbers and all these options. Let's not act like that. Let's not pretend, especially considering the fact that the guy is not even local. He's consi He was considering moving there and all of that. So let's not act like you're just sitting at home doing nothing. You went snooping. You found some information. You made up something in your head. You called this woman. And for the life of me, I don't know why you ladies do this. Why do you constantly take women just at their word? Just at their word. Just at their tears. You guys don't understand how much you manipulate each other. You have no clue. All a woman has to do is call you and cry and say a man is doing this and that. And if you're in this relationship with the same guy, oh, oh, it's on. It's war. It's both women against the men. But you might not know that she wasn't uh, a relationship for him. 
that he wasn't committed to her. Maybe he was talking about moving to where you were, meeting your mom, meeting your family and all that because he might have decided that you were the one. But you just took a leap and went all over the place. You just had to find something out. You just had to look on Facebook and you're talking about a friend of a friend posted. No, you went snooping. You went snooping. Because a lot of times, you ladies, you want to know what the social media handles are of the guys that you're with. So you probably got some type of information. Maybe you searched it up and found it. And a friend of a friend, no, you went through his page and you saw everything that's going on there. You saw all these attractive women that were friends and you start decided to look at their profiles. You're just jealous. <laughs> that's what you did. You wanted to see if there was some kind of connection with some other women, woman. Because what he's saying to you just has to be a lie he just has to be too good to be true i don't understand why you ladies will just believe another woman how do you think that her telling this other woman is of benefit to the other woman she's telling her because she wants her to be in misery like her she's telling her because she wants her to then get on him and give him a hard time because that satisfies her to know that somebody has given him a hard time along with her and she would rather him not have anybody if it's not her so ladies you should stop believing that and find out what is going on because there's a lot of times where there men and women will think and, and and claim that they're in this committed relationship and the other person has never committed to a relationship or even asked to be in one that other person just wants to be with you and they don't want anybody else to be with you so think about that that's my take on this video let me know what you guys think in the comments i'm very curious to see what you have to say about that uh, i know i'm a guy so my my, my uh, perspective is a little bit different but thanks for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe to my channel have a great day peace